my dear students welcome to zoology platform in this class let us learn about the general characters of mammalia before starting the lesson i would like to confess that as i am recording this lesson in my leisure hour you will be listening to the sounds of my students in the background so please bear with that let me list out the general characters of mammalia mammals are the most intelligent animals in the entire animal kingdom and they have originated from therapsid reptiles and the golden age of mammals is cenozoic era and the golden age of human being is psychozoic era the most important characteristic feature of mammals is the presence of hair if any organism is without hair you can't keep that animal under mammalia so the most important characteristic feature of mammals is the presence of hair and the second most important characteristic feature of mammals is the presence of mammary glands which produce the milk mammals originated from therapsid reptiles cenozoic era is called golden age of mammals ketis hog nosed bat or bumblebee bat of thailand is the smallest mammal whereas balanoptera musculus is the largest mammal and this balanoptera musculus is of course the aquatic mammal psychozoic era is the golden age of man and mammals are the homeotherms because of the presence of hair hair acts like an insulation as a result because the entire body is surrounded by hair the body temperature will not be lost to the surroundings that means mammals have thermoregulating mechanism as a result their body temperature is always constant hence mammals are called homeotherms body is covered by hair of course this hair acts as an insulator and apart from that in certain individuals in certain organisms the hair perform different functions hair acts as thermo regulatory structures aquatic mammals lack hair embryonic hair is called longo hair in case of human being scalp hair is vestigial and this is the longest mammal that is giraffe maximum number of cutaneous glands are found in mammals that means in the entire animal kingdom maximum number of cutaneous glands are found only in case of mammals there are various series of glands like sebaceous glands sweat glands mammary glands ceruminous glands lacrimal glands horderian glands like that whales and armadillos lack hair skin contains sweat glands and sebaceous glands mammary glands are modified sweat glands mammary glands are modified sweat glands and here this is the whale which is the biggest mammal and the biggest terrestrial mammal is uh, elephant number of cervical vertebrae in mammals is 7 this is very important uh, point for neat and mset cervical vertebrae means the vertebrae that are present in the neck region and the number of cervical vertebrae in mammals is 7 of course there are certain exemptions number of cervical vertebrae in uh, colopus and manati is only 6 whereas number of cervical vertebrae in brodipus is 9 and except in this colopus manati and bradipus in the remaining mammals the number of cervical vertebrae is 7 and this is colopus and this is manati and this is about the longo hair i told that longo hair is the embryonic hair that is present in embryonic condition of all mammals dentition is thecodont heterodont and diphyodont dentition thecodont dentition means the teeth are embedded in the deep sockets of the jaw heterodont dentition means there are four types of teeth namely incisors canines premolars and molars because of this different types of teeth the dentition in case of mammals is known as heterodont dentition diphyodont dentition is the dentition where there are two sets of teeth in the lifetime the first set is called milk dentition and the second set is called permanent dentition and here you can find different types of teeth found in different mammals and coming to the larynx larynx is the voice box sound producing apparatus in case of mammals 
and there is a lid like structure called epiglottis and this epiglottis prevents the entry of food into the trachea during swallowing. So, whenever any mammal swallows the food automatically during that swallowing process the breathing uh, will be arrested, breathing will be stopped because epiglottis closes the glottis. That means, epiglottis prevents the entry of food into trachea by closing the glottis. Larynx is the sound producing organ. Complete digestive system is found in mammals that starts with mouth and ends with uh, anus. Four chambered heart is found in case of all mammals, there are two auricles and two ventricles. And there is a pacemaker called sinu auricular note and this pacemaker is a modified muscle as a result we can say that the vertebrate heart including the mammalian heart is a myogenic heart. Pacemaker starts the rhythm of heartbeat. Sinu auricular node is a pacemaker. Pacemaker is a modified muscle hence the heart of mammals is myogenic just like in any vertebrate and this is the four chambered heart and the left aortic arch is present in all mammals. RBC are enucleated because the shape of the RBC is biconcave because there is a very less space inside the RBC. The nucleus of mammalian RBC is simply pushed out in order to accommodate more hemoglobin. Camel and the llama are the only mammals that contain nucleated RBC. RBC is knock out nucleus in order to accommodate more hemoglobin. This point was made clear already. RBC is biconcave. RBC are piled up on each other forming Rolex. That means, this is the most important characteristic feature of mammalian RBC. RBC they pile up one over other like this like coins and this is called Rolex. Here you can see the formation of Rolex, they are, they are piled up just like coins they are arranged one above the other. The formation of Rolex facilitates the accommodation of more RBC in less space. Brain is surrounded by three meninges, pyometer, duramater and in between pyometer and duramater there is one more meninge called arachnoid membrane and three meninges are present surrounding the brain of uh, mammals. And here you can see the corpus callosum. Corpus callosum is the structure that connects uh, the two cerebral hemispheres. The left and right cerebral hemispheres are joined by corpus callosum and this is the most important characteristic feature of all placental mammals. Let me repeat, corpus callosum is the transverse nerve band that connects two cerebral hemispheres in case of all placental mammals. And there are four optic lobes and this condition is called corpora quadrigemina. There are four optic lobes and this condition is called corpora quadrigemina and this is exclusive for mammals. So, here you can find the structure of brain. Corpora quadrigemina is a condition where there are four optic lobes of course and out of this four optic lobes, two lobes are situated above and these are called superior calliculi. And the lower ones are called inferior calliculi. Superior calliculi are connected with uh, vision that means they are more concerned with vision whereas inferior calliculi are concerned with audition that means hearing. And in the ear we find three sequential bones namely malleus, incus and stapes. Do not miss it malleus, incus and stapes is the sequence of bones that are found in the mammalian ear. And apart from that mammals also contain external ears and these external ears are called pinna. Presence of pinna is also an important characteristic feature of mammals. Pinna are present and inside the ear there are certain glands called ceruminous glands that secrete ear wax, lacrimal glands of eyes secret tears, dentary is the jaw bone found in the lower half jaw and organ of corti is the receptor of sound in mammalian ear. Testes are present in scrotal sacs and the scrotum acts like a thermos flask because the spermatogenesis requires 3 degrees C less temperature than body temperature. 
As a result, the scrotal sacs, by acting like thermos flask, they encourage the process of spermatogenesis. Scrotum maintains 3 degree lesser temperature than body cavity. Increase in scrotum temperature decreases spun production of course. And fertilization occurs in fallopian tubes. And there is menstrual cycle in primates and in other mammals there is estrus cycle. And uterus is uh, totally well prepared before pregnancy in order to accommodate the developing baby and there is a connection between the uterus of the mother and developing baby and this connection is called placenta. So, the presence of placenta is a very important characteristic feature of mammals again. And the period required for intrauterine development is called gestation period, elephant has got maximum gestation period, opossum has minimum gestation period. Gestation period in human beings is 9 months. Placenta, let me repeat, this placenta is the connection between uterus and fetus. Baby birth is called parturition, oxytocin is called birth hormone, oxytocin induces labor pains. And this is a primitive mammal, these are prototherians. Here in this diagram you are seeing one prototherian, prototherian is a primitive mammal and these are also called unfinished mammals. They exhibit gynecomastism where male prototherians have functional mammary glands and male prototherians secrete milk and they feed their young ones with their milk. Normally it is not found in higher mammals. Prototherians are egg laying mammals. I told that the mammals are viviparous but there are certain exemptions and the exceptions are prototherians and these prototherians are egg laying mammals and they are provided with cloaca and marsupials or metatherians which contain marsupium. So, prototherians are different and uh, marsupials are different. Marsupials are exemplified or represented by kangaroo. Kangaroo is the biggest marsupial. Kangaroo is called macropus and didelphic condition is found in case of marsupials. And marsupials are confined only to Australia and even prototherians are also confined to Australia. As a result, Australia is called land of archaic mammals and Australia is also called land of marsupials. And coming to eutherians, eutherians are the real mammals, advanced mammals in which even human being is also included and this eutheria include many orders. For example, primate is the order under which man and apes are included, proboscidae includes elephants, chiroptera includes bats, bats are called flying foxes, whales belong to the order Cetacea, Tyropus is also called flying fox, Tyropus is nothing but a bat and whales bats exhibit echolocation. Rats and squirrels belong to the order Rodentia. Uh, coming to the scientific names of certain mammals, Macaca is the scientific name of monkey, dog is scientifically called Canis, Delphinus is the scientific name of common dolphin and the national animal of India is Panthera tigris, antelope is the state animal of Andhra Pradesh. So, that is about uh, today's class that is the general characters and classification of mammals. Thank you very much.